Okay, so I'm gonna preface this recording. This is for Triple R247 family members that are part of the Vivo medical device watch and wearable tech program. Um, we are in an awesome stage. We're great right on time with um, rollouts. We are not going to see our tokens being available for the open exchange, most likely until fourth quarter towards the end of fourth quarter. Okay, they're coming. So everybody should have logged into their um, Vivo wallets and clicked on the 10 times the tokens and, and they should still be in there, and but locked. If your tokens don't show up, you have zero tokens. Everybody should have had um, tokens from the promotion, 500 to 1800 to 36,000, whatever. There's so many points that, that, that we've earned collectively. And, and when I say points, they're actually um, tokens, cryptocurrency. And they're going to be available in the open exchange when they complete, I think it's phase three, which is scheduled here fourth quarter. I'm going to tell everybody just anticipate the end of the year. I don't want to have a bunch of questions coming in September 1 when it's the beginning of the fourth quarter. Um, I guess October 1. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, October 1st. And it's the first of the fourth quarter. It, I promise you they won't be done the first part of the fourth quarter. They are doing some incredible, credible things. And they, they're already 30 days behind on one of the key components. But that 30 days behind was awesome because they stepped up something else. So we're waiting 30 days because when we do that, September 1, the end of the, the, end of the third quarter, or sorry, the, the last month of the third quarter, we are able to roll this out to like 224 countries, not just 10. It's 224 countries. And it's basically, we're basically giving the watch away. They just get a subscription and go from there. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to stress that. I'm not going to do any Q&A yet, Maria. I, I'm going to get everybody launched and going, then we can bring that up. Um, today is a very full agenda. It's going to be an awesome agenda. If you don't have Google AdSense, this, this day is for you. If you have Google AdSense, this day is especially for you. And we're going to answer a lot of things that came up. I um, you know, got with Tanya, moved some things around so I could dedicate a solid day marathon for you guys from noon mountain time, that's two o'clock Eastern and 11 Pacific and one o'clock Central till for six hours, okay? So till eight o'clock Eastern, seven Central, six Mountain, five Pacific. And you guys all know I, I don't go under, I'll go to the point or maybe a little bit over. We're gonna, we're gonna be covering a lot of things today. So um, let me pull up, let me pull up something to share a screen. We're gonna be doing some video share had this already last night. Let me go pull this up for you guys. Um, we're going to be resyncing our um, apps, and we are in the stage with the Vivo smart app and the watch where we're going to start mining cryptocurrency. So we've been getting the tokens. The, it's the pre-stuff. We're moving into mining now. All of our hubs are going to be activated, and, and um, we're going to be part of that, that rollout. Um, oh, i got to do something really quick. I have all these all these securities we have today. I'm scanning a QR code. There we go. Okay, first and foremost, I want everybody that has a Vivo watch, and, and if, you're, if you don't have one yet, just pay attention. You're gonna need this information later. Everybody that, and yeah, thanks, Stacey. Um, Watching that button for me. Everybody that has a uh, Vivo watch, I want you to pull up the smart app. You're gonna pull it up, whether it's you know on 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 a Android or it's on an Apple device. Pull it up.
Um, I'm actually having a small issue with mine, but pull it up. And I want you to click on profile. And if you click on profile and you don't see the word mine, M-I-N-E, um, go ahead and raise your hand. I'm sure there's people that don't have it on there. Okay. Yeah, and leave your hand raised until we uh, get this complete so we know everybody's past this. This is a very critical thing. Um, so, and, and um, mine's, mine's doing the same issue. So I've been troubleshooting this since the 5th of July when they said it was available. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, remember, patience, right? Patience, patience, patience. We got involved with this program before it was even pre-launch, pre-launch. Um, we've been watching this for years. We worked out an incredible promotion for us to get these, these uh, tokens and massive bonus tokens and everything. And, um, and, and we, we took a jump in here based on that so that we would have a really good forward momentum with this and a good potential. So that being said, we've been part of the, the rollout process and everything else, and we've had to do this update. So if you don't have mine, here's what you need to do. Go to device and unbind your watch. Your watch should be on, it should be right in your vicinity, not charging somewhere. You should have your phone and your watch together, okay? And you're going to unbind. I just unbind mine and then it'll give you a screen like this. Where you can now add, right? So I, I unbinded my watch, I'm doing it with you. You can unbind and rebind and it, it's fine. Um, after you unbind it, you're going to exit the app and you're going to remove it, uninstall it. If you're an Apple, you gotta delete it, I think. You need to delete the app. There's a whole new version that's on the Apple Store. It's on um, Android, Google Play, um, and you need to reload it. Not just uninstall it, reinstall it. You need to, un you need to delete it. Un for, if you're a, a Mac user, um, you have to like delete it. If you are an Android user, uninstall actually works. So they understand that we want to uninstall and delete it off our account, and then we're going to reinstall it. Apple will have to actually delete it. In Rory, case you didn't know. Quick, yeah. Because, because we've got so many hands raised. If you guys cannot see Rory's face to see you know, his screen, go up to the right corner of your Zoom screen, click on view, and click on speaker. Yeah, and actually that's where you want to be today because you want to see this on a big screen. Now for Android, do we want to empty our cache as well, Rory? Yeah, if you have the option, if you know how to empty your cache, that's a great idea to do that too. I actually didn't on mine and it worked fine, but uh, depending, but I'm on a, I'm on a, what am I on the note? I'm on the note 20. Yeah, you and I are on the same. Yeah, so if, but you might be on a different type of Android, so it's a really good idea to clear your cache. And this is, this is an awesome moment, guys, that we're getting this stuff set up. And there's some complications on the binding, and, and we're going to go through that today. Odds are we're going to have um, complications on this that we're going to be rolling things out to make sure people are bound correctly, and we might need to do it Tuesday after the student call. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on a technological clarity, and I haven't received it yet as of this morning. So if it doesn't come in, then they know I need it now. If we don't get it here soon, we'll just, we'll just put it off till Tuesday. And it's not a big deal, but it's, it's, it's what binds us to the hubs to, to start marketing. Now, they're, while we're, everybody's doing this, um, you, you, everybody's reinstalling your app. And then after you reinstall your app, you're going to um, have updates and all sorts of stuff to run, but you're going you're gonna to go to device and then you're going to add your watch. So you go to device and this should show up just like this. After you reinstall the app, you should go to device and this should be on there. But before you go there, click, click on profile and you should see mine. Um, it's, it's the third from the bottom. So it says mine and, and Apple it has a different looking screen, but you should say mine on it. After reinstall the app, if it doesn't say mine, that means you didn't clear your cache, you didn't uninstall the old version and you're not on the new version. So let's make sure everybody can see mine in there before we go forward. Well, put your camera up, put your phone up a little. Okay. Okay, now I can see it. If it doesn't say mine, you're not on the right version. If it says mine, you're on the right version and there's gonna be doing some updates. 
We're, we're all going to need to be patient during this part of the process. Um, some phones, depending on your service, your carrier, your bandwidth, it could take five to 30 minutes. What we're going to do next. So if you can see mine, then click device and then add your watch. You hit the plus sign and then connect the watch. We're going, to wait, we're going to be going into a whole new cryptocurrency um, education with a program called MetaMask um, here next. Um, I expect this to be somewhat problematic where it's going to be new information for a lot of people. Um, some of you are already good at MetaMask. Some of you guys are, you know, like me, you've got a lot of cryptocurrency experience. You've been doing a lot with it. Um, MetaMask is going to be where our wallets are located. There's other masks. There's other wallets to use i just use metamask but it comes with risk once you have a metamask wallet you want to make sure you got to learn how to verify addresses or to do anything so if you're doing anything outside of the the vsc that we're going to be on right now um you're you, you've got to make sure that you double check addresses and know how to do all that there's going to be more training on metamask coming but if you get inquired about something or any anything comes to you, before you click on it, let's make sure you get and I get with your instructor and say, hey, is this is this what I should be looking at? Don't just do it. There's a lot of scams that come out, and there's been a lot of um, cryptocurrency, uh, and, and it's all fraud. You're protected unless you give your keys away. So don't give your keys away ever. Okay, ever. There, no one ever needs to know your keys. That's, that's so you can access your wallet. You give them access to your wallet, you, they basically can take everything and there's no retribution. So in the, in the world of cryptocurrency, you're gonna get, you're gonna get codes and I, and I write them down in a specific notebook for each wallet I have and I'll lock it in my safe. I um, haven't needed them, but if you lose the access to your wallet, that's the only way you can get access to it. If you lose those keys, and their keywords, there's 12 of them, you're gonna be in a world of hurt. Okay, so don't lose them. Okay, I was playing with mine and um, I got my connections failing. I'm trying to connect again. It won't connect to my watch. Some of you might have this and, I, and what it means is I need to uninstall and then reinstall again. And I was perfectly fine. It was just me playing around with it that caused this. I've been trying to break it, but they told me just to, to do that. So I'm going to do that right now. Following your steps, I'm working just fine. Yeah, mine worked fine too. I just, uh, I tried to break it and um, I did break it, but they have an easy fix, which is uninstall, reinstall again. So I'm, I know as, as easy as that sounds, so I'm not clearing my cache again. Um, it's probably going, why are you installing the Vivo Smart app again, right? So um, I'm doing my install again, which means I'm gonna have to do the update again. So, so you guys, once you add your watch, it's gonna be doing an update. There's a firmware update and a APGS update, the a, whatever, AGPS, whatever update. It's gonna do that one first. And then you need to go into the device um, area and you need to click on the firmware and upgrade it. Everybody's gonna need to upgrade their firmware. You also gotta give a lot more permissions and um, for access and everything else. And I just did that too. That I think is causing some people some issues as they get concerned about giving access. Guys, if Rory didn't, if Rory says to give access, just do it and you'll have less problems with the watch and the app altogether. Yeah, you gotta, unfortunately, you gotta give it access. And that, cause I mean, it's monitoring stuff. It's gotta have permission to link with stuff. It's, and, and it's gotta have permission to use your phone if it's gonna do the alerts um, for like, you know, saying like you're about to have a stroke. I'm having a hard time getting my uh, my watch to connect. I'm gonna have to do the turn the watch on and off thing.
Mine is going through the refresh number two of 11 days. <laughs> yeah, it's going to sync it up. So, and this is, guys, everybody needs to go through this. Um, if you get yours on there and, and it does the update and, and everything's good, then lower your hand. Just so we know we're, we're getting through there. And don't let your screen go black while it's doing the refresh. You'll just have to continue just lightly touching it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. My watch finally connected again, and I'm doing the AGPS update again. Um, my refresh progress for four days. Um, so I'm actually I just got past where I had a problem. So it's it's working good. How are you coming, Stacy, on your days? Uh, I'm on number six. No, it's going bad. I'm on number six. Six of 11. And I'm retyping all the steps you told us to do. For those that are just joining the call, I'll hit enter in a little bit. So while we're doing this, I'm going to recap on some changes. And, and you guys, just be patient as this is rolling out, um, like always. Um, um, it's going to be, oh my gosh, I, I really... I really like what they're doing. So we came in based on um, the network marketing aspect of the program. So I want to be I'm going to be very clear. Um, the the reason when, when we came in the way we came in, we got grandfathered into higher commissions. So they're changing the program going forward. We get the benefit of both. So it's really good. Um, so what happens is they're they're changing things, and because of that, it, it's opened up that we can we can reassign who the hub owner is and, and then so forth. So they made some modifications, and so so if this looks a little bit confusing, we're we're just because we're adapting to where it was to something better. So they they decided to change the model from network marketing, which we're we're still getting paid that way, guys. So we don't lose anything to social rewards and referral marketing so that anybody in the world, whether they're MLM friendly or not, has the benefit, just a reward program. And it's, it allows us to get a lot more customers. Um, it's also, it's also, um, it's, it's also good to understand that they're making the ease of entry, you know, basically we're going to be giving these watches away. People will just be able to pay the subscription. It doesn't mean marketing doesn't need to happen. Nothing sells itself. So we're still going to market it, but the entry point is going to be like basically a giveaway. It'll be better than a Fitbit, better than an Apple Watch because we're going to give these away. They just pay for a subscription, which makes sense. It's how they monitor all their details and data. And as they refer, I mean, they're going to be part of the crypto mining. And as they refer, you know, friends and family, they're getting rewards for that. We're getting the mining and, and the other benefits to that but it's a really good customer acquisition model. Um, I've been going through it with Bo and understanding the directions on it. Um, for us, as far as how we market with our, our blog pages and links, this just made it easier. That, that's really what it did. All right, I like seeing these hands going down. My refresh progress is almost done. Um, so what I broke, it is looks like it is fixed. And then, um, we're going to go into the mining and, um, and, and there's some stuff on here that I'm going to actually have you guys see um, and on how to do that. So we're going to walk through the MetaMask. I'm assuming most of you do not have a MetaMask um, account. 
You may not even know what I'm talking about. I instructed my team to hold off till you brought it up. <laughs> yep, that's why we're doing this. Um, so everybody should be in uh, using Google Chrome as their browser. I'm going to make that assumption that everybody understands everything we pretty much do does it, it collides with Google Chrome the best. It works best with it. Um, MetaMask is a Google Chrome add-on, or they have an add-on for it. And it's, it's, um, it's probably the industry standard for cryptocurrency wallets for alternate coins and stuff that are on like the, um, the, the different blockchains, okay? So we're on an Ethereum blockchain or, or it, with the, um, it's a fort, it's a fort um, chain. For, I mean, Vivo has its own. And when, because of that, we do need to use a exterior wallet such as MetaMask. Um, there's other ones. I'm not going to teach the other ones. I'm just going to teach MetaMask. Got to be the standard one we use because I don't want to personally have several different wallets that I have to worry about. I like to minimize it. So I'm using MetaMask. We're going to teach MetaMask. The company is going to be supporting MetaMask and, and education on that too. So if you guys are like a crypto head and you've got these other you know wallets that have come out, you're on your own on that side. And if and I'm just going to tell you, for anybody getting started, just use MetaMask. Just we'll keep it simple. So I'm going to pull that up. Um, Okay, so, and, and you should be in the device, the firmware upgrade should be 5.5.16.40. If not, click on upgrade and do the upgrade, and it's going to take a few minutes to do that. It'll take five to 30 minutes. I did Tanya's today, it was 10 minutes in, in upgrade. While we're doing that, I'm going to get the MetaMask video ready for you guys to, to watch with me. So, Roy, a couple of days ago, did your Vivo token icon on your watch, that green V, switch to the little heart? Oh, yeah, it did. Did, that's because I'm set for mining. Did your uh, so, so, tokens disappear from your screen at the same time? Yeah. Well, they're going to reappear when the, when we get the this binding thing done. So I'm we've been doing game. we've been getting tokens. We haven't been mining. We're starting to mine now. So we we're doing the pre stuff. It wasn't actually mining crypto yet. Now we're going to where we're going to start mining crypto. I was taking commissions and moving it to the token tank, and it would show up on my watch. That's gone too. It's not gone, Niall. You just don't well, have I mean, to mine. No, 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 no. Not gone, gone off the watch. Just the yeah. watch face. Yeah, because we're we're going over to the, the actual. We're actually turning this into a miner now. Yeah, I mean, in case anybody else seen their yeah. their disappeared too. It's in the tank. It's not on my watch. That's what I meant to say. And I know a lot of you are starting to message your instructors and MSIs because I'm getting all those messages. Just leave your hand raised here, guys, please. Take some stress <laughs> from us. <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is, this is a patience thing. We're trying to help as many people as we can on this, and then you guys can help others and pass it down. But this is, this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm, I'm waiting for everybody to get their their uh, apps all set and everything.
It was a refreshing five of 12 days. I'm on, it's refreshing 12 days right now. So was it 12 days ago that that heart switched over? Has it been that long? Could be. Well, well, okay, so this app on the 5th of July got updated and we all have to resync to it. It's, it's, it's not an up, it was not, we had, to, we had to reinstall the app. That's what we're doing. So, so Niall, in that process, whatever days weren't fully logged, it's going to catch up on, right? It's stored on the watch. It's going to upload. So that's what it's doing. Um, Stacy did 11 days. Mine only did four days because I've been playing with this ever since they did it. So my four days are from the fifth. So I'm going to show you guys something on my screen. So this is, um, I actually, I probably should be careful of that. Um, I'm going to have to edit that part out. Hold on. Um, I just lost my place. There we go. So as of a couple of days, what day was this on? Thursday, so two days ago, um, we were at 15% of completion and we need to be like pretty much near 100% for this to happen, right? On the wallet. So, and this is this is connecting your wallet with, with your app and this is your MetaMask wallet. So we're gonna be setting that up here in a second. Um, Okay, I'm ready to show you guys this. All right, everybody's doing upgrades still? I have to restart it again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, mine got through like six out of 12 days and then disconnected itself. Yeah, you might have to uninstall, reinstall a couple of times now. Everybody might have to. So this, just see where it's going. What's it doing now? Okay, a GPS update. Mine is failed. All right, I'm gonna um, get this all ready. You guys just keep doing what you're doing. We want to make sure everybody can do the next part. We're going to do as much of it we can, so you guys will be done. Looks like I'm connected, but my watch wasn't fully charged, so I stuck it on that charger. That's another thing that's got to be pretty charged. Oh, you got to have at least 50, you have to have at least a 50% charge. Yeah. Yeah, I probably should have put something out there. Um, make sure you're watching the charge for today. I do have mine on my screen. It looks like I'm connected. I just got to charge up here. Okay, Rory, I just did something instead of shutting my phone or my uh, watch. My watch wouldn't turn back on after doing the update. It, sometimes and, you let it wait for a couple minutes. Well, when it's because it came up saying updating, you know, it failed. Do you want to retry? Right. Or, or was it successful? I hit yes, even though my watch wouldn't turn back on. And then okay. I clicked on device and it was sitting there circling that my watch need, it was trying to connect and then it connected and now I'm wrong, I'm, it's, it's up. Okay. Might be a fluke, but I decided to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tanya did something weird today and, and, um, and her watch didn't turn back on and she pushed retry, and then her watch turned back on. It was fine, and it didn't retry. It just—it was like it knew it was okay. I've reconnected. Now it's doing an update of five days, which is the same as yours. Yeah, I'm 
505. Here we go. Try yours is good. Sync yeah. success. Okay, while, while this is going on, I have some other stuff to work on. But I want to show you guys the MetaMask thing. So we'll just wait a few more minutes. While your watches are doing their thing, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the MetaMask training on. And we're going to kind of go through this step by step. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share this link that I have right here in the chat. And this is how to, how to create a MetaMask wallet. So on your Google, make sure you're on Google Chrome. You're going to click MetaMask.io and you're gonna download it and then install it. So you're gonna to go to metamask.io and you're gonna install, mine's already installed this right here. But Metamask is this little fox dude. And I, I, I don't have it. I don't have it on this computer. I have it on my other ones, but this is where you create a wallet. And I can import my wallet here. Now you can, your wallet can be on multiple computers. I'm just not gonna, I'm choosing not to put it on this computer. This is the one I use for, for Zooms and trainings, but you're, you're gonna install MetaMask. It's gonna look like this. If it doesn't look like this with that logo, you're not the right place. So again, it's MetaMask, M-E-T-A-M-A-S-K dot I-O. And you want to download it. And then install it. What about the uh, email we have? It takes us to a slightly different page, but it's MetaMask. It's MetaMask dot I-O. It, there's, no, there's no other place to go. So if it says the same thing, that's great. This is, um, this is the, the latest corporate update I got to share with you guys. The email we got from Vivo takes us to a big blue page, MetaMask for Vivo Smart Chain. Now, I just want everybody to follow this process. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. So in other words, ignore the email and do what Rory's doing. Pretty much what I was getting to. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna you're gonna create a wallet. That's what mine pulled up here. So it says create a wallet right here. That's what you're selecting on. I'm not actually gonna do these steps here. I've already set up with mine on another computer. I just want you guys to walk through this. It's really simple. You're gonna say create a wallet, and then and then you're going to um, here's a video you guys can watch on how to do it. Here, I'll go ahead and play this. It's only a minute.
Well, mine's all set up, so that means 99.9% .9 of the world can do it. <laughs> uh, all right, so now I'm going to pull up. Everybody should have that. Then it's connecting the, the mask. And so um, you, can you guys see my screen? Negative. Negative. So then, then you're going to, um, once you have that, you're going to create the wallet. Then you're going to be putting this stuff in the wallet, right? So, and, and this is, this is so you can see your, your wallet. So what this is, is just, it's just a visible place to see what you have in your wallet in a way to interact with it. Um, and I, you can do it with one click. I manually do it. So I go to MetaMask account and I click on your profile image located on the upper right side. And I go settings, networks. And you're going to name the network exactly this. Vivo space smart space chain. Just like that, uppercase and lowercase. Exactly like that. It has a place to fill in the uh, new RPC URL, put that in exactly and make sure there's no space in it. It'll tell you it's not correct. It has an amazing checker. Um, if you copy this from that page, it puts an extra space at the end. You got to remove that space at the end. The chain ID, oops. The chain ID is 888. I don't know how they got that one, but that's pretty cool. The currency symbol is VSC, and then the block explorer URL, and it says it's optional, but you want to put that on there. It, it just validates things. Um, again, they put a space at the end of this too, so make sure you remove the space when you add it in. That space is the most confusing thing and, and someone didn't think that out when they made these links. But I'm here to tell you that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this little video here. And then after you do that, um, you're gonna go to your profile in your app on your phone. And your MetaMask, you're gonna have a, you'll, you'll be able to click on, I'm gonna show you this there too. You'll be able to click on like your address and there's like a, there's like a, uh, a physical address or you know like a typed address and there's also a ur code right or a qr code i pull the qr code up on your screen and then i scan it from your app and you'll go to your app you go to profile see that you go to mine oh and you're gonna have the wallet address you just add it there mine's already added i'll go ahead and watch the video on that
And then this, th this is the bind code to get added. Okay, so like, um, and, and this is where we get those, okay? And then there's a video on it, I think. Oh, it just walks you through it. Okay, so you need to get this from obviously your instructor, the person that you're working with directly, you're gonna get their bind code. And this is the hub console, okay? And so we all have six hubs. So you're gonna go to your hub console man, man, manual. So you're gonna go to your, it's your My Vivo account. So my.vivo.com, you're gonna log into that. You go to business. And then now you have new options on the bottom. So it's the hub console manager. And then you're gonna need to activate it. So you'll log that in, you'll see you'll have six of them. There's a hub ID, an order ID, and um, it'll say in transfer, and could you can move them around. And then you can you can turn them on. I'm gonna power it on. There's a literally there's a power button, right? It looks like the, the power button on your computer or your phone. It looks it, it's a universal power button. There's that circle with the line in it. You're gonna say activate it. And it's active for a year. So you'll, you only want to activate them as you're filling them up. So, um, Niall, <laughs> you need like a hub ID. One. You need a bind code. OK, I'm, I'm a page or two behind you. My, it wasn't moving fast enough. I'm almost a little, uh, not overwhelmed, just backed up. I, I'm scanning my bind code, and it's not allowing me to bind. I scanned, it saved it, the QR code popped up on my screen. Well, you yeah, I got the QR code. Oh, listen, you need to listen to me. You need, you need a bind code from, so Stacy, I need to give you a separate bind code. Oh. You can't so bind to yourself, that's for you and your customers. Okay, yeah. so I just, got the, I just have the wallet address. I see the box that says bind code. I was So, so Niall, are you ready for your bind code? Yes. B as in boy, C as in code. So bind code BC. Any capital letters are all just all caps. Capital B, capital C. And then it's 19495181619495181816. Yep. And then just click the big bind button. Use the bind word. Bind. Wallet address, bind code on the phone. Yeah, so you hit the action here, it pulls them up. It's right there. You can you can do it a couple of different ways. I said you type it in. All right, I'm finally caught up with you. All right. So now, now that you got, you know, if you got that done right, then you'll be able to give it to your directs and then they can triple that down. Um, Same bind code or? No, 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 no. Everybody gets a different one. Okay. Everybody gets a different bind code. You, you have five slots in your hub. I'll, I'll scroll up here so you can see what I'm talking about. You're, you're going to go into your, you know, you're, you're going to go there. You're going to go to uh, hub console manager. It pulls them up. You'll click on the power button here and you'll activate one. Now this shows two hubs. We all have six because that's what we got in the promotion. I, I negotiated that we got six. And you only want to activate it as you're filling it up here. You don't, once you activate it, it's good for a year. And then there's another fee in a year. You want to make sure you're making money with it before you activate that. And it's only, I think it's like a hundred dollars a year. 
if we're not making 100, I mean, we're, this allows you to make the money on the hubs and the, and the, and the, the miners. This is the mining process, right? Proof of sensing. When I, when I activate that and I click on it, and it's going to show me my individual, um, there's my hub IDs, and it's going to show me the five mine codes per hub. I gave you one of them, Niall. Gotcha. It's individual, it's unique to you. And when I log in, it'll show me if you're bound and it's working and it's, and it's mining. We, we can see that they're mining there. The next person I'll give this one to, and the next person this one, and so on. Got it. Okay, Stacy, I'm getting yours. Okay. I'm scrolling down the page, catching up with you. As the actions, I'm all caught up, I think. Stacy. Yes. I'm going to actually type it to you. Okay. And I, I think it's easier just to type it in instead of me sending the code to you because it's not that big of a deal. It is a big deal when my number lock is off and I can't type. Okay, hold on. I had the same issue this morning. All right, got it. I'll enter it. Crush. Oh, that bind button turned green. Such a pretty green. It is a pretty green, yes. Cool. And now I just got a notification on my watch that something happened. An email. And when you're doing the bind codes, I on the nickname, I put the person's name of who's using it, and then you click away from it, it saves it. And that way, when they actually get activated, their wallet address will show up. You don't get to type in the wallet address. It'll, you'll know it's working when the wallet address is actually showing there. So when Stacy does the update, you put that bind code in there, it'll, it'll update this when I show up. Now, Rory, when we're giving out the sign codes, do we want to go in the same order in which we signed? That's the idea. 
Okay. And 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 it's because it's because of the way they change it. I mean, it doesn't have to be this way. So let me explain. In Triple R two four seven, we keep that we keep the genealogy intact, absolutely. But once we start marketing and going out there, we're going to be filling hubs. And because of that, if I want to give you somebody, Stacy, into one of your hubs, I can do that. Um, we can transfer hubs. If as as we're doing this, if you have six hubs, you're not using them. You can transfer one of your hubs to somebody else that that just comes in and gets a watch for free or type of a thing. We can build the teams together this way. There's a lot more flexibility because it's not tied to an MLM structure. It's tied to a referral program. We get the benefit of both. So we want to keep it intact, but we don't have to. It's open now. Cool. It's decentralized, cool. if you will. It's whatever we want it to be. So if we have somebody that like, they just don't understand the value of this, and let's say that they want to like close it out, we can have them transfer the hubs to us so we can use them. And that gives us you know, use of them for a year, for instance. We can be, um, we can be smart about the resource. Now, I don't... I can't see why that would happen, but you guys have seen this a million times, giving away free money or free opportunity, it's still hard, you gotta market it. And some people just don't get it. They don't get the work, they get confused, they get frustrated. That's why we do this training all the time. Look at all the people that are in Triple R247 that weren't on the training today, they're gonna be lost. And we gotta get, and we're gonna have to like train them and, and show how this stuff goes. And um, we're going over on our, there we go. I'm fine if we, I'd rather go over and get this covered. Oh yeah, I know because it's support. It's a, a support nightmare. And but you guys, it's this is all new things. We're going to be getting better and better at it. The MetaMask thing is, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of training. Nothing. We don't. We always overtrain. That's what we do. We want to make sure people totally get it and and overdo it. So that's what we're going to be doing. But we get those codes out there. We're going to get everybody linked up. Sean, you're already you're waiting for yours. They should be disseminating now. And you will not be able to bind people to you. You won't be able to give them a code if they haven't done all the prior steps of updating to the MetaMask and getting their firmware upgraded on their updated on their app. I did do a screenshot on the instructions and I put that on the MSI chat for getting the app and watch updated. <laughs> John, I'm trying to get to you, but it, the list keeps bouncing. Okay, you should be able to unmute Sean. Sean asked to be unmuted. He's got some update. Yeah, I have, I have a couple things to say about the binding. So I tried to bind. So my, I signed my wife right underneath me. And there's probably a few of you that got family members involved too, right? So I tried to bind my wife's um, wallet to my hub, but I used my MetaMask wallet on her account just so all of our coins would go into the same, same wallet. And since she had the same wallet as I had, when I, when I bound her um, wallet to my hub, it actually bound my watch also, my-, my um, Yeah, so Sean. So you have, to, you have to have two separate wallets, number yes. one. The other, the other thing I have to say is, before you start giving out your, um, your bind code, Go to go on your account and on the on the right hand side of it, there is a bindable. Um, uh, what is it called? Bindable purse. That's why I was just saying. Person. So you can see who you can buy. It says bindable members. So you can see who you can bind and who you can't bind. So 
before you start giving out your code because it won't work if you can't bind them. And then, and then you're wasting a code. Good stuff. Yeah. So now everything you mine goes in your wife's account, right? Yeah, I, I unbound mine and hers and I'll redo it. Uh, that was the master plan all along. Hey, come. <laughs> That's good stuff, Sean. I'm just shocked that I'm moving right along and it's all working and I'm doing it right somehow. that you're recording this for us. Okay, guys, don't be reaching out to your instructors begging for your code. Yeah, let, it, let us disseminate this properly. We got a lot of people like, like Sean, Deanna will be sending you a bind code soon. She's she's having a hard time getting her uh, watch to, to, to sync. She's having an app issue, as are some other people. I can't hear you, Sean. So it won't be Deanna. That, that's another thing I have to say. So you, that's why I said go to bindable members because there are people on here that they might be in your downline but because of the promotion we were having, we were signing them up underneath other people. So like, like for instance, you know, I'm not under Deanna, I'm under Melissa. Right. Even though Deanna is my instructor, Melissa signed up, then, then I signed up. So I won't get Deanna's buying code. I'll get Melissa's buying code. Correct. Correct. So, Correct. So you yes. need to make sure they're under you, not under two people underneath you. Make if, sure they're your personal. So let me... So Sean, yes. let me, I want to be very clear on this. The way that this is opened up, we can, we can bind to anybody. We want to keep the genealogy intact to what we created. That's a triple R two, four, seven thing. So what Sean is saying is absolutely correct. Whoever sponsored you into Vivo, we want to get you their bind code. Cause that's how we build things. Right? We I keep the energy in the right place based on the support and how the growth is going. Whoever you're sponsored by, you're part of their left team or right team. They're going to be growing you. This is how we get the benefit to do that. So we don't want to break our genealogy as far as like the MLM structure. That's triple R247. That's from Tanya and I down. We want to keep that intact. That's what Sean's talking about. So while, and it's important for you guys to know, we can really mess this up if we wanted to. We could we could break the chain that we like. Um, and, and it's good and bad. It's bad for this. But going forward, as we're adding customers, if, if I'm just putting customers in the system, we don't need to worry about the MLM structure as much because it's gonna be built in the and based on the hubs. We can, we can be, whoever has watches to sell or give out or hand out or whatever else, we can tie them up differently. We'll cover that. But it's also gonna open up an open referral and um, word of mouth thing that doesn't tie people into being part of an MLM at all. There's not gonna be any MLM talk going forward. We get it, we get the benefit of it, because that's what was that was negotiated, contracted, and everything. But the new accounts coming in later aren't necessarily going to be in that. They'll be in ours, but they're not going to be part of the MLM structure at all. They're going to be part of the referral reward program and the and the mining. There's perks to jumping on things fast, guys. There's perks and and that we take risks of different things. And and if the company is going to make changes, this is why we contract everything. I don't like changes that take away money from what I've agreed to. That's why I put things in paper and, and, and have the attorneys and everything. This is one of those times we won because they, they decided to make a corporate change, but they can't change our contract. They can only add to it. So just keep that in mind. It's awesome. Now we just gotta go execute and make the best of it. Um, the, 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 the way this works is by mass exception. If we can get 17% of the world tied to these wearable devices and the medical protections and everything that's here, we all stand to make incredible, incredible things happen. We're, we're talking massive. And, we're the, and we're, we were the launch point in the US and we're gonna be pr promoting stuff out there. We have an amazing opportunity with this 
and we're going to really be focusing on this as an anchor and, and so forth. But right now we're getting everything set up. We're waiting for their technology to get done. We've been waiting for the mining. It was supposed to happen, oh, in July. And here we are, and mining's happening, right? So as, as that's going and, and we got, you know, and we got the, there's different stuff. Now I'm still waiting for my bind code from the company, but they got this set up where I can start putting the stuff out there. So mine's not even bound yet, but people are bound to my hubs. They're independent and yet run together. So I can't mine until I'm on a hub and I'm waiting. I'm supposed to have mine any, any freaking second. But everybody else gets to go running. So just be patient. We're going to get this out there. And then and then your watch is going to show the, the, the tokens. And that's actual cryptocurrency that's being mined through proof of sensing. What we've been waiting for is launching right now. They did it. So we won this one. Now, now we get to see it mined. We get to see our data, our reports, all that stuff are going on. And, and you know, the only thing we got to do is make sure our subscriptions are paid. The twenty nine ninety five is being paid. And because of the way the infrastructure of the ecosystem runs, that fee can be paid out of your earnings from mining. So I'm letting you guys know that um, I have a different thought process. I rather play, I would rather pay my twenty nine ninety five with fiat money that comes from my cash flows and the stuff I control. I'm betting that this token is going to go up when they get that third party on there, which it might be a couple of years. Um, I think it's a couple of years out when they're going to have the, you know, the, um, the um, protocol and the chipsets available for like say Apple or Fitbit to come on and be part of this decentralized process. That's going to help get the, if, if, if that happens, we all win big. And I'm betting on that, right? I'm gambling on that. Our marketing is going to get the word out there too. I'm, I'll gamble on myself. So I don't want to use tokens at today's value. We've seen this work before with other things. I don't want to, I don't want to spend this token if it's going to go up. I'll spend, I'll spend the US dollar that seems to just keep going down, right? So I'm just putting that out there as what I'm doing. If you want to know what Rory's doing, that's what he's doing. But for those that don't have the mindset for that direction yet, and you haven't grasped on, if you want to eliminate the 2995 cost, because you see it as a cost, not as an investment in the growth and something massive, you can have it paid with your hubs and your, your mining. And it's, we're only talking 2995, but that 2995 could be 2995. All right, um, we'll, we'll keep this going on here. Um, we're gonna be doing a full training day today, so we can, you know, we can update some stuff and we'll see where everybody's at. And then Tuesday night after the student training call, we're gonna, we're gonna do a troubleshooting hour um, during it's the PPPS time, we'll just open it up for this as well. So if you're not getting it done, just know Tuesday we'll have troubleshooting for the entire, you know, triple R two four seven. All right, Stacey, are you ready to, to, to do some stuff? No, <laughs> I'm really not. Um, my computer is not, I, because now I've opened up so much, I've used up yeah, all yeah, my- Yeah, well, you, you, get, you get going, you get going. I'll stop this recording now, and I'm gonna go into some philosophy stuff and changing things.